Hello, Cricketers. Welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we are getting ready for Black History Month. Next month is Black History Month. It is right around the corner, and just like we need to get ready for Valentine's Day, we also need to get ready for Black History Month. So I saw this design because you know what, you guys? I've done it again. I saw a shirt in a store, and I said, I'm not buying that, I can make it. And that was what I, that is exactly what I did. So I saw this design and I, I said, I have to do it, I have to try it. So what I've done is, I guess you can call this a triple offset. That's what I've done. And I will show you my full process. So without further ado, you already know what I need you to do first before we get into the video. I need you to go ahead and do the three things. Hit the like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. All right, before we get into everything, let me tell you the order of things. Right after this, I'm gonna show you all of the materials. After the materials, we will go into Cricut Design Space. After that, I will show you how I layered my designs, how I uh, put them on the mat and I put them in the right order so I wouldn't mess it up when I was layering. Then I'll show you how I got them all pressed. I'll even show you a mistake that I made while when I thought I was finished and what I did to recover from that mistake. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see the mistake that I made and how I fixed it so that if it ever happens to you, you'll know exactly what to do. So without further ado, let's get started. The materials that I'll be using to make this shirt, I'll use a black 100% cotton shirt from Gildan. I'll use black, red, green, and yellow Caesar Easy Weed HTV. I'll use a Teflon sheet to cover and protect my fabric. I'll use my pen pen weeding tool as needed. You don't need a weeding tool that much when you're doing using HTV. I'll use a green Cricut standard grip mat and I'll be connected to my Cricut maker. I will use my StarCraft 15 by 15 clamshell heat press to press my shirt and I will um, create the design, the layered design in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so without further ado, let's head on over to see how I layer this file in Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Maker. The first thing that I'm going to do is grab my text. The text that I'm using is one, or font that I'm using is one that is called Genkeist. And I am going to type the first, the only two words, that will be on my shirt. So I'm gonna type black and history. Okay. And I want to use my alignment tool to center it. And let me go back and make sure I grab the right font. It is called Yenkeist. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And now I'm going to decrease the line space a little bit just to bring it up. So I don't want that much space in between, okay? Now I'm gonna change the color of this uh, to black. And the layer that's going to go around this, I'm gonna do my first offset. I'm gonna um, decrease my offset to 0.10, okay? And I'm going to, let me see, it did not go. Okay, I will just drag it. Oh, because I should have done 0. 0.100. Okay, let me see if I like that. 0, 01. Like that. Okay. And I think I like that. So I do know that I want the offset to be gold. Okay. And I'm going to choose this color here. And then what I'm going to do is select all again, and then I'm going to offset it again. And I want to offset the offset. And I'm going. I'm not going to change the size of the offset at all. So right now the size is point uh, one one one. I'm going to click apply. And oh, that looks good like that. But I'm going to change this black offset to red. Love. And I'm going to select all again, and then I am going to offset it again. And I'm going to, I'm not changing the size of the offset. I'm going to click apply 
and change that looks so good oh my goodness i'm going to change the color of the offset that black offset to green okay so i think that's how i want it to look but i'm going to double check because kind of not feeling it as much as i thought i would um but let me let me see something right. I'm going to just select over this and group it just for now and try it one more way. Okay, so let me do it one more time. Black and then history. Okay, like that. And let me move it over and let me um, ungroup two lines. So I'm going to go to un uh, advanced. And I'm going to ungroup to lines so that now I have one line and one line. And I will definitely still change this to black. And the layer beneath, let's see, if I offset this and change it to, um, do I want it like that? Let me change the color of that offset to see if I want that to be red and then select it and offset it again and change the color of the black offset to the gold and then offset it again and change it to green. And let me see if I like it like that. I do not. I think I like it this way better, but let me delete that, delete, delete, and go ahead and change, let me offset it, and I am going to go ahead and do the offset in the gold, and then I will offset it again, and change it to, man, I really like that. I'm gonna do that in red, and then offset it again and make that one green. Okay, so I think I like it like that. And let me go ahead and group it. And then I'll do the same thing with this, but since it's separated, I can move it, you know, where I want it. So I will change this to black click here to offset it and I'm not changing the size of the offset okay so I'm gonna go with the gold click again offset again change it to um, red okay and then offset again and change it to green and if you are making a shirt that you are doing a multiple multiple layers of offset you know you can do it how you see fit okay I'm also going to group this and I think I want to have it like this so it's kind of indented a little bit I like that I'm not sure which one I like the best um, but I like I like this Okay, now I'm going to grab a template from my templates tool, which is, you know, the t-shirt. And I'm going to grab a women's medium. And then I can really start to look at these designs and see which one I like the best. Okay, so now I'm just going to resize it. Oh, I like that. Now the color of this shirt is not black. I mean white, it is black. So, and let me take these grid lines off. Oh my goodness. I, I like this. I really, really like this a lot. I like the way this looks. Okay, now let me check this one. Um, that is kind of too big. And then I can move this over and resize it. I'd rather just keep it together. I think I'm going to, I am having a hard time deciding. I think I am going to, I think I'm gonna go with this one. 
this with them connected. And it'll actually be easier for me to do my layering this way. I'm gonna go with this one, okay? So I'm gonna select over this and I'm just going to um, hide all of this for now. I'm not gonna delete it, just hide it. And this, I am ready to click make it. But before I do, since this font is a script font, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to um, select my black layer, which is the, act the actual words and I will weld it, okay? And the rest of it, I won't have any, any issues at all. Okay, let me just, yeah, that's good. Okay, so now I'm ready to click make it and I should have four mats. One black mat, one gold mat, one red mat, and one green mat. Okay, and because I'm using heat transfer vinyl, I know that I will have to mirror all four of my mats. Okay. And my first mat is actually, it should be my green mat. So let me go ahead and turn on my mirror on all of them. And I am going to cut them in the order in which they will be layered. Instead of cutting them in the order they are in right now, I'm going to cut my green mat first. And that way, I can get it positioned on my shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. It's telling me to connect my maker. I'm gonna make sure to do that. And I'm going to select everyday iron on and you won't see it here, but I'm gonna select everyday iron on and everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. The green vinyl that I'm using is actually the Cricut brand of vinyl but I'm gonna get it loaded on my mat with the shiny side face down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it loaded. Let me turn my mat around. So your mat should match what is on your screen. So I'm gonna do that. this vinyl so I can now put it away and I have my mat loaded I will get it inserted into my Cricut maker and let me pull it back from the wall because you need at least at least 10 inches behind the machine layer of vinyl is my black it is on the mat with the shiny side down it's loaded and I press the flashing C my mirror is turned on Now the first thing that I'm going to do before I start to press my shirt is add a little bit of heat to it um, just to heat up my fabric. My temperature is set on 305 
and I just have my heat press set to 10 seconds. One question I get asked a lot is, what is my heat press on? This is just a crate that I purchased from Walmart. My husband removed two of the slats. Um, he removed two of the slats so that I could actually use this part of the heat press stand. I call it a heat press stand. I could use it for storage. And then he bought uh, plywood to add to the top to make it long enough to hold the heat press. And then my daughter painted it black. And then I added stickers that I made with my Cricut. And I have a video on how I did that. And I will make sure to link it below. Now that I've added um, 10 seconds, or I think eight seconds of heat to my shirt, now I'm just gonna fold it in half to get my center mark. So I just folded the shirt right in half, and now I'm gonna press it again to get a good crease. This heat press was purchased from 143 Vinyl. It is the StarCraft 15 by 15 clamshell. So now I have a crease down the middle of my shirt. I'm gonna press it on the heat, put it on the heat plate and start to get my design ready. Now I just come down about three fingers, like three finger widths down. So that's what I consider as the appropriate um, face down from the um, collar. Now I am going to take my green vinyl from the mat and I am going to strategically place it. You know, some crafters, so some creators like to fold theirs in half and then line up the fold here with the fold that's on their, you know, whatever their product is. That is a good practice. Um, I don't always do that but it won't hurt. Okay, and I'm also being careful to make sure that my design is not too low. Remember, three fingers is um, low enough. You don't wanna go down too low from your collar. So three fingers from your collar is good. I'm gonna come up a little bit. Okay, and I think this is centered. Okay, so I, did let it cool. I'm gonna go ahead and um, peel it. And if you're using Cricut vinyl, make sure to let it cool first before you start to peel it because Cricut vinyl is a cool peel. Caesar is hot or cold. You can peel it right away. Okay. So my next layer is the red layer. Let me make sure my shirt is... I love it. 
I love it. I love the way this turned out. I love it. I love it. It is gorgeous. Okay, I made this. Let me give you my final thought. Now, after I said I love it and I picked the shirt up and looked at it, I noticed that there is a piece right here that I did not weed when I was doing my weeding. So let me show you what to do if that happens to you because this is not, this can be removed. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, if, if this ever happens to you where you, you know, you created something with HTV and then after you finished and it's all pressed and you think, oh my goodness, I'm done and you realize, oh no, I missed the spot. Let me show you what you can do. I'm gonna take my shirt and I'm gonna turn it inside out. And I really don't have to go all the way inside out, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. And so I'm on the opposite side of the shirt. I am going to just use my little mini press. And I'm gonna just put it behind that little spot that I need to remove. And I'm not saying you have to have a mini press because you can do this with an iron. And I am going to use my pan pan weeding tool and I'm just gonna lift that up, just that one piece. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna turn my shirt back over. So you can see all of its awesomeness the way that it was intended. All right. Hopefully you learned something today more than you thought you would. Hopefully you love my design because I do. Black History Month is next month and I will be ready with this shirt. Now this one is for my daughter, but I am going to make one for myself and a few other projects here or there. So make sure you've already hit that like and subscribe button and you've turned on the bell for notifications so you will be on this journey with me and you won't miss any of my crafting moments. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today and Thanks for watching. Bye.